Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this presentation. I'm Dr. Vahid Aryadust, and I'm delighted to bring this demonstration of converting data uh, from Excel to SPSS files and also converting or recoding data from string to a categorical or other types. Right. Um, I would like to start off by showing you the Excel sheet that I have already created. I'm keeping, keeping it in this Excel, uh, in this folder. Uh, this is my Excel sheet. As you can see, I have three tabs. Tab 1 is Data. Tab 2 is Data 2. Tab 3 is Data 3. In Tab 1, I have four columns. One is Gender and one is Stream. Uh, I'm going to hide these two columns here. I uh, just highlight them, right click, and hide. Uh, so you cannot see those two columns anymore. Now the question is uh, how SPSS will be able to, and whether SPSS will be able to see these, these hidden columns or not. So I'm going <coughs> to save this and close it and just go to my SPSS, which I've already opened. I'm going to go to File right in the corner. Uh, this drop-down menu has a lot of options. You can, you should just directly go to Open, um, Open, and Data. Click on it, and you'll get this pop-up window where you have this option here, uh, where you can choose the uh, file type. Here, I'm going to click on this and choose Excel. You have different types of Excel here. Just click on it, and you'll see your Excel sheet. Uh, if you cannot find it immediately, you have to just, you know, click on this and navigate uh, through your computer to find you where your Excel sheet is. So I'm going to click on this and click Open and nothing else. And there you go. Another pop-up window is here. What you need to do is look at the worksheet. And since my Excel sheet had quite a few, like three uh, tabs, tab data, data 2 and data 3, I need to choose from this drop-down menu. I'm going to choose data because that's where I'm parking my data. That's option one. So my data has been chosen. As you can see, I only have gender and stream. I do not have those two hidden columns. Now you might change your mind right in the middle of the way and say, look, I'm going to get everything and convert them into an SPSS file. How should I do it? So you can just simply here unclick this ignore hidden rows and columns so they will appear there but for this presentation since I don't need them I'm gonna click this and again hide them so they will not be converted to SPSS I'm not gonna change anything else I just uh, go by default and click OK Wait a second. Yes, and you'll get it. From the data view, you can see the two variables that you have created, gender and stream. And from the variable view, you have uh, name, type, and everything else about the two variables you created. First of all, you need to change this string into numerics. How do you do it? The easiest way is just to go to your transform menu, click on it, uh, click on automatic recoding or recode and this pop-up window here appears again uh, move both of these variables to uh, the right hand side of the panel on the right hand side as you see every variable is going to be converted to a new variable with a lot of quotation uh, question marks in front of it these question marks have to be replaced by a new name that you will choose for gender I'm going to choose gender recode it or anything else really that you like to and click on add new name and there you got it those quote, uh, question marks were replaced by the new name now I'm going to click on stream and change stream into stream recoded and there you go I don't need to change anything else really uh, SPSS will take care of everything and and all the changes will be done automatically click OK and you got it. In this window, you have a report of what SPSS just did. So you can see gender into gender re uh, recoded. Uh, female was uh, changed to two. 
and mail was changed to three and uh, anything which was missing was changed into minus 999. In the same way, the other variable, which is, uh, here is the value, is, is the label stream, which was uh, converted to stream recoded, uh, has got three levels, express, normal academic, and normal technical. So I'm going to minimize this window and go back to the variable that I have created here. You can see that it's basically a numeric variable. So you don't, if you click on this, you don't see the string uh, checked. You see that numeric has been uh, checked for you automatically. I'm going to click OK. The type of variable that I have created is nominal. I'm not going to change it into any other formats, but if you see, if, if uh, you look at uh, the measure types, you'll see nominal, ordinal, and scale. So I'm going to keep it as nominal. Uh, in the same way, the other one is going to be kept as nominal. I'm going to go back to data view, just the last thing. As you see, uh, in, for mail, uh, which is uh, here, which has been recoded, you've got number three. Now, let's say you want to find out uh, what these values are. And let's say you don't have these columns at all. So I'm going to clear this. You just want to uh, peek into your data. What you could do is to go to this button and click. All the labels will be converted, all, all the values will be converted into labels. Of course, this uh, conversion is uh, temporary. If you unclick this, you'll get the values again. So this brings me to the end of this presentation. I would like to highlight that the data that I was using is coming from these core projects, which are spearheaded by uh, Dr. Melvin Chan, from the National Institute of Education of Singapore. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your attention. If you liked the video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, have a good day.